guys so today we are going to continue our lesson for the first chapter computer system but before that let's recap okay i posted a picture of me getting vaccinated on instagram i received 88 likes and two comments is that an information or a data 88 likes and two comments would be data correct Next, Berita Harian reported that 21% of Malaysian population has been fully vaccinated. Is that an information or a data? Correct, an information. Next, we have an Instagram post. Website receives a click on heart symbol from user. Which operation of information processing cycle is it? Receives a click. That will be input. Next, website records the number of likes of the post. Which operation of information processing cycle is it? Receive. Record would be storage. Next, website displays heart symbol in red color. Which operation of information processing cycle is it? Displays. That will be output. Correct. Next, website updates the number of likes on the post. Which operation of information processing cycle is it? Update. That will be process. Good job, guys. Next, we'll learn in this lesson, we'll learn number system and representation, which is a subtopic of computer system. Okay, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to explain data representation in computer bits and bytes, convert between binary and decimal whole number, describe why hexadecimal notation is used, convert between hexadecimal and decimal, convert hexadecimal and binary. Okay, so in this lesson, you'll learn three contents, which is data representation, where you'll learn bit versus bytes. Okay, next, you'll learn number system, which includes decimal, binary, and hexadecimal. And lastly, you learn number system conversion, where you learn how to convert binary to decimal, decimal to hexadecimal, and so on. Let's look at the first content, data representation. So computer does not understand human language at all. Okay, any data, video, audio, images, symbols, and letters fed to a computer have to be converted to machine language first. Okay, since computer is a digital machine, they can only recognize electrical states, which is on and off. Computer use the binary system one as on and zero as off. So all data in a computer are represented in binary digit, bit, and byte. Okay, let's see how it works. So, when a user press B on a keyboard, right, electronic signal for letter B is sent to a system unit in the CPU, right? And then those signal converted to binary code and stored in memory, right? And then those binary code of B is converted to an image and displayed on monitor, all right? So that's how it works, all right? So now let's look at the bit and versus byte. So bit is the smallest unit of data a computer can process. Smallest unit of data a computer can process, right? Bit represents electrical state on and off, okay? It is used to measure data transfer rate of computer communication devices. So these are the examples, okay? So one zero contains Two bits, one zero zero one contains four bits, one one zero one zero zero one one contains eight bits. All right. While byte is an eight bits that group together as a unit. Okay, byte represents a character such as digit, letters, a punctuation marks or symbol. Okay, byte is used to measure storage capacity. All right. This is. An example of bytes. So you can see here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is an example of byte because there's a 8 bits. Okay, so this example of 8 bits are a byte. Okay, are one byte. Okay, let's look at the bit and byte conversion. Okay, so for a bit to convert to a byte, you will have to divide by 8. Why? Because 1 byte is equal to 8 bits, 
right? Okay, so let's look at the next one. Okay, the next one would be kilobytes. So, one kilobyte equal to 1024 byte. Okay, and that goes on the same thing. All right, until gigabytes. Okay, let's try. All right, convert 0 0.2 gig to megabytes. How you do that? Okay, you convert gigabytes to megabytes is multiply 1024 and you will get 204.8 megabyte. And then convert 0 0.2 gig to kilobytes. You'll get 209715.2 kilobytes. Lastly, convert 0 0.2 gig to bytes. You'll get 214748365 bytes. Now let's look at the second content of this lesson, number system. All right. So there are three types of number system, which is binary, decimal, and hexadecimal. So binary consists of two unit digits. So you can see here one and zero. Okay. So these are the example of binary. So like you can see here 101, 1010. Okay, these are the binary. All right. So binary represent electronic status of bits in memory. Okay, it is used for addressing the memory locations. So one of the advantage of binary is that execution time and access time becomes very fast. All right. So decimal is a number system we use every day based on 10 digits. Okay, for example, 23, 101, 5,674, that is all decimal, all right? Next, we have hexadecimal. So hexadecimal consists of 16 digits from 0 to 9 and A to F. So alphabets A to F represent decimal numbers from 10 until 15. So these are the examples of hexadecimal, which is D75A. F00D. Okay, so hexadecimal is translated to binary for computer use, such as color references, assembly language programs, and it is also used in error messages on computer. Let's look at the hexadecimal symbol with a decimal equivalent. Okay, as you can see here, hexadecimal symbol used 0 until 9, okay, and then A until F. As you can see here, A starts from 10, F until F, which is 15, all right? Next, the last content of this lesson, number system conversion, all right? So let's look at the conversion formula first, all right? So to convert binary to decimal, you will have to use place value method, all right? For a decimal to convert to hexadecimal, you will have to use the remainder method. So, and that goes on from hexadecimal to decimal, you'll have to use place value method. And decimal to binary, you'll have to use remainder method. And how, what is place value method and how we do the remainder method, you'll look at the next slide. Conversion of binary to decimal, we use place value method. All right, for example, convert 11101 to decimal, okay? First, we create a table with base 2. As you can see here, there's a table, okay? And then we add base 2, okay? Which is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of 4, okay? That is in the second row, all right? In the first row, we add the number, which is 11101, into the first row, okay? On the last row, in the last row, we add the number of a multiplication of the first row with the second row, which is 1 multiply 2 to the power of 0, all right? 0 multiply 2 to the power of 1, 1. Multiply 2 to the power of 2, 1, multiply 2 to the power of 3, and 1, multiply 2 to the power of 4. And then we get 16, 8, 4, 0, 
and 1. Okay, and lastly, we add all the number 16, 8, 4, 0, and 1. And then we get 29. And this is a decimal number for a binary number of 11101. Next, next is decimal to hexadecimal. Okay, decimal to hexadecimal use a remainder method. Okay, for this example is you convert 77 to hexadecimal. So you first create a vertical table with division 16. Okay, this is a vertical table with one row, okay, with one column with a division 16. And then you add number to the first row, all right, 77. And then you divide 77, divide by 16, you'll get 4. And how do we do that? Okay, 77 divided by 16, you get 4.8125, right? And then this remainder, and how do you get the remainder? 13 is by 16 times 4 equals to 64. So 77 minus 64, you get 13. 13 is the remainder for this one. So you put it beside the arrow, all right? So this 4 divide by 16, you'll get 0, okay? And why is that? You can see here, 4 divided by 16 is 0. 16 times 0 is 0. So 4 minus 0 is 4. So the remainder would be 4, all right? So convert the double digit according to the table, okay? The last one we see, hexadecimal use 0 to 9, A to F, Right, so you get 413. So convert the double digit according to the table, you'll get 4D. And how we get D is by this one. Alright, based on this table. Alright. D equals to 13. Alright, next we look at the hexadecimal to decimal. Okay, hexadecimal to decimal use the place value method. Okay, example convert 4D to decimal. Okay, first you create a table. All right, and then you add the number 4D to the first row. Then you convert the one, 4D, convert the D to 413. All right, and then you add the 16, okay, base 16, which is 16 to the power of 0, 16 to the power of 1. And you'll get multiplication okay so then you multiply row 2 with a row 3 and then you'll get 13 and 64 all right and then you add both numbers 64 and 13 you'll get 77 and that is how you get a decimal number from a hexadecimal number okay and lastly is decimal 2 binary all right so decimal to binary use a remainder method so for example convert 13 to binary right so first you have to create a vertical table with division 2 like this one okay with a one column table with two beside them all right so then you put number 13 okay number the, the number in the first row 13 so 13 divided by 2 would be 6 okay because why 6 times 2 equals to 12 right so 13 minus 12 is equals to 1 so the remainder will be 1 right 6 divided by 2 would be 3 so there will be no remainder okay so 3 divided by 2 would be 1 and the remainder will be 1 okay so 1 divided by 2 would be zero and the remainder will be one okay and that is how you get the number okay in this order okay so one one zero one okay that is how you change decimal number to a binary number all right and that's all for today's class if you have any question and you need help just text me on telegram and we'll see you guys soon all right take care and Bye.